Today is February 24th. Tuner Evo Car Show is in town, Anaheim Convention Center. We're gonna be there. Trevor and I are gonna be filming videos. So if you guys are in the area, come check it out. But back to the top five 350Z modifications. Number one, I feel like the coolest thing that I've done so far is the steering wheel for this car. It already has a cockpit feel, but when we added the steering wheel quick release and short hub, it made the car feel like we're attached to it even more and it just overall made it a really enjoyable driving experience like 10 steps up from the stock steering wheel so that's gonna be number one all the links in the description for all of these products that i'm using and recommend number two is an intake get a little bit more power get a little bit more of a peppy uh, throttle response it's just an overall necessity zero question number three catback exhaust get that loud <laughs> Don't gotta worry, just do some aggressive cat back, see how you like it, and then move on to test pipes or art pipes or some high flow cats. Right now I have stock headers, test pipes, stock wide pipe, Tomei, and it's like freaking loud. So for drifting, it's perfect. It's just loud enough to be louder than the tires screeching, but for a daily, it's too, too loud. So be careful. Number four is a duck bill. I'm gonna leave an easy one down below to install that uses 3M. But I'm also gonna put below that um, a Rocket Bunny style one that you would need um, rib nuts for. I think that the 350Zs look just best with duck bills because the car just kind of flows real smooth. Get a nice look, have your own preference, but me personally, I really, really like the duck bills. Number five, coil over suspension. So, so, so good, so worth the money. Stock suspension lowering springs, drove that for like a month got coilovers and it just handles turns hits bumps soaks everything up just so much better the car feels like a true purest sports car with that suspension setup so the k-sport coilovers are amazing that i got so i'm gonna leave the links below for those as well bonus number six if i had to choose would be wheels you can do like we're doing 18 by nine and a half in the front on mine and then 18 by 11s in the back um, I have all the specs in the wheel video, which I'll have at the end card of this video. Um, if you have the money to do all the others, you can probably save up and do wheels. I think if you did all six of these mods, your car is just going to make you so, so happy. And these cars are so enjoyable. So I hope this kind of helps you choose of what, you know, which direction you should go for modifying them. I didn't choose these five in the perfect order, but I feel like if I had to do it again, I would probably just do intake cat back and then steering wheel but do them in you know what you want but i feel like as i did them in the order of like the biggest difference of like what the car feels like so steering wheel is like the thing you touch the most so that's why it's number one intake is number two because it's the throttle response you're on the throttle all the time and then three is the sound you hear so those are all relatively cheap you know cheaper than nothing like a thousand dollars or anything like coilovers so hope this helps i'll see you guys in the next video later